name is Eduardo Halfon. I'm from Guatemala, and I'm currently living in Nebraska. The first, the, the first word would be engineer. The first word I thought of, uh, just because my, you know, I was formed and trained as an engineer, but I am very much an engineer when I'm writing. Uh, at some points of the writing process, uh, but I would also say uh, music because that is very present in my writing, right. both thematically and um, in the language itself, uh, language as music. Ego? <laughs> uh, I write, I, you know, my narrator's got my name and he looks like me a whole bunch, so, so it, it is a, a doppelganger or a, or a version of me. don't consciously uh, arrive at style or create a style. Um, you create a technique and you develop a technique uh, like an artisan would, you know, like a craftsman would. But style is definitely beyond your grasp and it's just something that is there or isn't. You write to be read. We don't write to stick things in the drawer. We pretend we don't want anybody to read them. Um, so, so the reader is an intrinsic part of the writing process. There, there can't be writing without it. It's just, it would be incomplete. So when I'm writing, the reader is there with me, so to speak. No, it is a communication process. I'm writing to you. I'm not writing to write. Um, I want to tell you something as a reader. So no. Writing without readers doesn't work. I'd be the proudest writer in the world. And if I saw pirate editions being sold, you know, at traffic lights, I would love it. Um, a writer wants to be read. Period. Um, publishers, my publishers, would be offended. But as a writer, what better compliment than to have somebody um, go to that length to read me. So English was, was, a, was a very interesting case for me. Um, and what turned out, uh, the book we published, is really a new version of the book in Spanish because I was so involved in, in the translation process. So some sentences were in my head in English. And I wrote them in Spanish, although they were in my head in English. So when I received the translation from a translator, he wrote that sentence differently. So, you know, it, it was like a double translation process. It went from English in my head to Spanish on the page to a new English on another page, and that is uh, bizarre. There's too few translations to English, as you know. So many, many writers that should be in English aren't. Uh, and the ones that are, are under-translated. There are signs that things are changing. It's going to be slow. And we need City of Asylum. And we need Words Without Borders. And we need all of these entities that are trying to get works in translation noticed are extremely important. So me being here is extremely important. And I'm not saying that's just because of the camera. Uh, it's, it's very important because there are very few places like City of Asylum that can help international writers find a spot 